everyone, it's Autumn. Today we're going to talk about some of, well, I guess all of my vanilla fragrances and also Amy, you are sharing some of your vanilla fragrances as well, just so we can kind of get like a, a variety, like a scope and we'll kind of talk about each one. So I went on a bit of a journey. <laughs> I hate when people say that. It was a journey. It was a journey. It wasn't about the destination. It was about the journey. But I was looking for like the perfect vanilla fragrance for myself. And so I went and I bought a ton of them over the last year. And to kind of start the first vanilla fragrance that I had and that was my favorite and I've gone through oh, so good. multiple bottles oh, is it's perfect. this one right here, which is the Atelier Cologne Vanille Incense. Is that how you mm -hmm. say it? Um, it's yeah. that way. Um, but you know what? Yeah. I don't know if I should. Oh, I'll go in the Ansley cam <gasps> to show it closer here. <laughs> so also you may notice that there are two things going on. Ansley's here in the room at Amy's house, and she's got some cats, too, that like to join in. The last video that we recently did was your Soul Systems yes. video, and we noticed Ansley, like, off-screen on the side, rolling around on the bed with the cats. Does like, some amazing, <laughs> um, amazing performances that no one got to see. And she got, like, super <laughs> bored, was laying around. I was on the verge of falling off the bed. Yeah, that's true. So I thought it would be cat, funny. There was, like, one big cat human pile on the bed. Yes, yes. yes that is exactly... What so happened? I just thought it would be funny to make a separate Ansley cam. So you will <laughs> see her in the corner. And if something interesting happens, I'll make it larger. But <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. And we'll give this mm. one a spray. And I mean, honestly, to me, like vanilla is vanilla. But then like after smelling all of these. They're so different they're from each other. They're very different. But most of these are very vanilla dominant though, right? Like you yeah. were saying earlier that vanilla is, of course, in so many perfumes, mm -hmm. but these are ones where you get vanilla at least prominently. Right? Yeah. So I, I essentially just picked the perfumes that I have in my collection that are mainly focused on vanilla. So it's not just a note in there. So have Amy give it a sniff. This I love this. It is pretty much my, mm. this was my all time favorite vanilla and just to kind of spoil it. I bought all of these other vanillas, and I still feel like this is the one. I, yeah, I'm, I think it's awesome. I mean, obviously, like any perfume, this is subjective to what you like and mm -hmm. your experience. And But this, to me, is like, what, slightly woody, incense vanilla. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, and it's a oh. good layering one, too. I like to layer this one oh. a lot with other fragrances if I want to make them a little bit sweeter, if they lean heavier, like with leather or something like that, and I just feel like it's mm. you know, too sharp, too much. This is what I always layer with. Is Do you happen to know, I heard they're not selling in the U.S. anymore. They're not. And is it harder to get because of that? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, they're not selling in the U.S. at all. And so when I found that that happened, I did buy a backup bottle of it. Mm -hmm. But after that, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just say where I think a lot of us deeply into perfume get into this problem where it's like, oh, I'm going to test all these this is, to me, I'm cheap. This is a little more expensive than I would normally pay for a cologne. Mm -hmm. It's freaking worth every penny. It is, if you have the money, mm -hmm. it is so good. Yeah. To me, that's the one. So, okay. <laughs> so we'll then, about here's the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just going to grab them do randomly. It. Do it. So this is a, uh, a new one that I recently picked up. I'm going to try that a little bit. And I like this one, too. It's a good one. It's a good one. So this some is, of these, after I film this video, I'm going to do a vanilla declutter because I feel like I don't need all these vanillas. Okay. I won't Which be, one is it? This is the Dior Vanilla Diorama. Mm. I feel like it's... Um, that's more my... That's, that is... It's very incense -y. I would say it's, yeah. it's more sort of like... Amber. Mm -hmm, churchy. It's almost like a churchy incense vanilla. Man, that thing is gorgeous, though. It's aromatic. Mm -hmm. And that to me, well, yeah, no, I'm going to leave it there. This is your bag. She's, She's a beaut. Cute. But you can have She's opinions. It's gorgeous. It's no, no. no. Um, <laughs> that, I could smell this great. I, I think you should wear whatever you want to wear, no matter who it's marketed to. But that leans a little more masculine to me. Mm -hmm. Man, that's great, though. They're both beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And then I have Heretic Dirty Vanilla. And is she's interesting. It is dirty. I so the one that we're gonna I'll talk about it after this one then, but kind of compare them. This is so interesting. This reminds me kind of of the desert fleur. Ooh, which is my favorite perfume right now. But 
I feel like Desert Fleur is a little creamier. I don't know if I even got it on the strip in the right spot. Yeah. Uh, Desert Fleur is a little more um, Ooh, oozy. Too strong. Mm -hmm. This is woodier. This is real nice, though. Yeah, it has like that dirty sort of it like does. patchouli, patchouli. smell. Patchouli. Yeah, know? I was going to say it smells patchy for sure. Mm, that's really nice. I don't get, I wouldn't think of that as a vanilla perfume, actually. Yeah. This is more to me patchouli incense, but it's great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's nice. So then I guess since we already discussed it, this Amy had me buy this one. And this is Bohemian Do you regret Red, it? Do you regret it? Desert Red. Fleur. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the S is silent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't regret it. It's grown on me. So when I first got it, I thought it was a bit much. <laughs> um, I love this thing so much that it's my number one right now out of what, 300 perfumes or whatever. I, I think though that this does wear better in cold weather. It does. And it warms up in your skin and it leaves a trail. Anyways, I'm, I'm too biased to talk about it. But to me, it's essentially a vanilla patchouli, but it's not as dirty of a patchouli as Correct. the one we just smelled. Totally. It just smells like oh, vanilla so patchouli strong. and a little bit of booze to me. I don't know why I get booze. Oh, that to me is heaven. Okay, move along. I also like, though, how Ansley's here where I'm spraying in that direction. So she's getting doused with all the vanilla We're all, perfumes. we did a video earlier today where we literally, literally sprayed 100 perfumes and it smells raunchy in here so i'm gonna kind of stick in the same vein i guess I keep it in this. the category of like this this little baby a dirty <gasps> vanilla situation oh, lush. it's lush vanilla -y. vanilla -y. which is how the the english people say it it's so cute american people don't say vanilla -y. this one is a little bit harder for me mm, see i really like that i like oh, it. that smells like milk yeah, there is like a lactonic kind it of... It smells like vanilla milk. I love that, actually. And it's funny because I think I smelled this the day at your house when we smelled a bunch of other things, so it didn't stand out. And now mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I, re I really like that, actually. That's great. Vanilla-y. Wait, particles are getting if anybody eyes. English is watching it, isn't it true that you guys actually say vanilla -y? <laughs> Am I wrong? You're just gonna Am be I like, ignorant right you're now. You're just gonna be like uh, stereotyping be like, them, idiot. Just like <laughs> apparently Shut all Australians are like shrimp on the barbie. Right, that is my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> shrimp Ew. on the barbie. Is that what the, the first thing you go to for our friends in Australia? Yeah. And what? what do you think would be the American stereotype besides just being utterly stupid? I know it would be a southern accent. Well, actually, a lot of I'll people there are like Forrest Gump. Tail. No, they like they, they do, for some reason do like a weird surfer accent. Like, hey, dude. No, oh, like, <laughs> like, like Spicoli. Yeah. It's Spicoli from Fast Times. I like that actually. If somebody were to stereotype me as Spicoli, I'd be like, Thank yeah. You. When I was eighteen, that was right on, <laughs> right on. This is oh, Bond so Perfumer. And I this love Bond. It's Bond, um, is it? No, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How do you say it? No, it's <laughs> Perfumer. Okay. I'm thinking of it. Anyways, I like what I've tried so far a lot. Oh, okay. It's number 402, sure. Vanille Caramel Santal. What? Uh -huh, that sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, why did I do this with her? Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had to find the sprayer because it doesn't have the... There we go. You are spraying right <laughs> The innocent over here has no idea. You're going to be like, I can't. The bottle of pills are getting into my eyes. You have glasses on, you're good. Oh, I love this too. Okay, and you're, you're right. Kids, damn. You think all vanillas are the same? They're all different. Wait, let me see if I can get... You know what's weird? I get coconut in this. Do you? And it's not... What I wonder it? if because like coconut what a lot of the time has like the, the husk, and I wonder if the Santal, the creaminess Ugh. of the Santal is You better be keeping that one. Yeah, I actually, that is fantastic. Are you serious? And they're not that terribly expensive. No, these are very affordable. And you can get the roller balls for like, I mm -hmm. don't know, 15, 20 bucks. It's amazing. That is gorgeous. What do you get from that? Describe that to the people. Um, It's a slightly woody. It's like a creamy, it's woody sweet, vanilla. Gosh. Yeah, the caramel gives it like the sweetness and That's the depth. That's it. It's the caramel that I'm getting. Yeah. The but, caramel is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I feel like sometimes when people do caramel notes, they're too sweet. That is unbelievable. So since we just were talking about That smells caramel. like it's Sunday with caramel sauce. Let's oh. jump into this bad boy, which has caramel in it, but it also is salty. And on me, that salty note just goes like, somebody went to the gym and didn't shower. Like... <laughs> So guess what? I hate this thing. Do and you? I, it's so rare for me to hate a perfume. And this is a perfect example of different strokes for different folks. I know that it's great for some people. 
people I love love this perfume, and I'm sure it smells great on them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It turns to vinegar, and it smells awful on yeah, me. Yeah, it smells awful on me. Like I didn't shower. I wanted to love it, and I'm trying to cover it up with the smell of perfume. Yeah, and, a, and there's a chemical scent I can't get past in this one too. Girl, oh, sorry, this is Olympia. Uh, Paco Rabanne, Paco Rabanne Olympia. Olympia. Yeah. There you go. Um, a girl I work with loves this smell. Yeah, so and then her mother even sure. bought it because of that. I because she smelled mine, and then. Oh, wow. Yeah, because she liked it so much. And then so I'm like, I had a whole box of perfumes and I was like decluttering some. And my mother-in-law was there and I was like, pick one. She chose this one. She literally brought it back to me a month later. And she was like, it just wasn't for me. And I guarantee it did probably did the oh, same so thing Oh, so it is her. how it wears for some people. Yeah. And it's wild because I actually, this is the one that convinced me I didn't like salt in her perfume. And then since I've smelled some where I really love salt. This just does not. I don't like it. So you know what I smell? There's a, in a okay, Salty. sorry again. Do it. I hate when people are like, oh, I hate all chemicals and perfume. And I'm like, well, a ton of perfumes have chemicals. I mean, like, and thank God, because they made us aldehydes, et cetera. Mm -hmm. there, there's a chemical that's used in a lot of modern perfumes that I just don't happen to like. It's in this. It's in uh, Fleur de Mal. I don't know. I can't. It just smells like dry. Oh, I don't know. It's bad. Yeah, it's rough. That's too bad. So, but I'm not, but all to say, I still think it smells really good on some people because some people I know that, yeah, love good perfume, love that thing. All right. And then while we're in some of my cheapies, I know you have a couple cheapies. Yeah, too. sure. Tell me what, yeah, yeah. So we'll kind of, um, we like a range of things. So this first cheapie oh. is the chai. Is that how you say it? I have it? another one, a, a piece. A, a lot of people are really into this line right now. Some I've really liked a lot and some I haven't. So, That's really nice, but this is it's really kind, nice. Honestly. This is the kind of vanilla, though, that like you get if you were looking for a vanilla that smells like when you describe like a super sweet vanilla. Just that, a combination. It's like you can't even put your finger exactly on what it. It's just sweet. It's inoffensive and likable. Mm -hmm. But and notice to this, I I really like this company and they're making things affordably. I have found that one I own, it lasts no longer than 15 or 20 minutes. So to me, it is body spray quality. Yeah, yeah. But they're beautiful. They make some really interesting mm -hmm. scents and it's cool. Yeah. That's nice that the scent is beautiful. I honestly think this is there's great. It's great. Cool. Give us a you want me to do a couple cheapies? Yeah. Okay, well, God, I have a lot of cheapies, but um, I'll do the cheapest. Well, the, most of these are cheap. Okay. Um, this is, okay, so here's a question for somebody who's French. Is it Autre Mer? Um, this is kind of, you know, famous, inexpensive line, uh, sold in anthropology in the U.S. And, um, this is just the Vinny. And, well, I'm not going to say what I get from it. I want to see what you get from it. To me, that seems like a boozy vanilla. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. A boozy vanilla. Boozy, sweet, gourmand vanilla. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's only like 20 bucks. And to me, this is another one. It's not revolutionary. It was probably one of the first though and really good. And it's just to me a, a great, easy yeah. reach, beautiful vanilla. Um, cheap. All right. This is an old school one. Mm -hmm. People seem to hate it that are younger than a certain age. Oh, really? And I don't understand because I, I love it so much that I'm like, what is not to like? This is Chopard's Casimir. Let me smell. Oh, hold on. Let me spray it. Um, oh, she's we're going to test it on a young person. See, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say what it's, I think it smells like until you smell it, but. Yeah. What what don't you like about it? It's okay. It's is okay. It's fair. It's sour. It's you said oh, that it's supposed it? to be like a vanilla, but it's sour. Is it? I to me it's to not me, what I'm expecting. I wouldn't say sour to me. It almost has a vinyl smell to it. I think people get that baby doll head thing that we were talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Earlier. Well, that kind of makes sense because the plastic or vinyl. Yeah. That's funny. Now all I get is I get lemon Madeline. I get Madeline cookie. Really. And I also get amber, like, this is, like, to me, the old school, mm -hmm. um, like, amber. And that's what it was supposed to be, a vanilla kind of, like, amber perfume. But I get Madeline cookies, and I think this is one that gets a lot better when it dries down. But mm -hmm. I will just say, like, those of us who love it of a certain age, and then I find that certain people younger are just, like, hate it. I think it smells really vintage to people. 
Yeah, and I don't, I don't know that it's I dirty. would say that it's it like smells bucks. vintage to me, but it definitely smells like plasticky. Strange. Wow, yeah. so crazy. Okay, um, cheapies, is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Are these okay to be as cheapies? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two from Solstice Scents, one called Vanilla Pipe, Pipe Tobacco mm -hmm. that we smelled earlier, and it literally smells like that, and it's, I don't yeah. know, 18 bucks a bottle or something yeah, for an oil, it's but really it's like incredible, it. and to me, niche, you know, really good. Um, vanilla pipe tobacco. It really does smell like gourmand vanilla pipe tobacco. And then this is Manor, which is a vanilla woody with a hint of oud um, scent. And yeah. If I had to choose between the two, I uh -huh. like Manor more. Do you really? Yeah. It's, I would say it's probably, I don't know, I would love to ask, but I think it's their best selling, if not in the top five. If you yeah. were like wanting um, like a almost like a vintage sort of woody vanilla that was kind of like barely there. Like you smell it on you and you just think that person naturally smells right. good. Exactly. Like you're saying, but better kind mm -hmm. of thing. Totally. Yeah. No, I think that it works that way for sure. It's awesome. And then, sorry, a couple more, three, four more. Uh, this is a uh, Yup Le Bon. Now this is as much a uh, tobacco scent. Let's see. Sorry. Um, but I think it smells very, very vanilla and it's only about 20 bucks and it's to me one of the best. I think this is like probably in my top 10 and it's dirt cheap. Oh, that's so good. I think it smells like cherry tobacco even. It smells also warm, like warm air after a bath. I really do think it smells oh. like that. Yeah, it does. It seems kind of humid. Yeah. Yeah, truly. I mean... This is one that like perfume people I know, like collectors, I don't know one person who's tried this who doesn't at least like it. And I know like 10 people who've bought it after they've tried it. it like, like I think it smells good. It's not something I would wear, but again, I'm not a cherry person. Oh, okay. That's why. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. This yeah. is a uh, dossier is um, inspired by scent for the Tom Ford uh, tobacco vini. It says on this bottle, Oriental Tobacco, but I don't think it's called that anymore. I'm not sure what it's called. Just look up Do Tom Ford when you're on their site. Um, is this it? This is my most complimented scent. And I like it when I put it on, but when I, it's embarrassing. Like when I go out in the world, I wore it to, the first day I wore it to work. I had like 20 people within a day. It was like five people at work. To the point where people at work are like, we know she smells good. And do you have like, a dossier code? Do you want me to put no, it No, I No, I mean, it's so funny because it does sound like they like are, you know, like they did um, send this to me. I'm not going to lie. But I cannot believe how many people stop. And then even like, here's an example. People who don't even necessarily like perfume. People just in stores, all ages from young kids to like elders will be like, why do you smell so good? Or what are you wearing? And oh my and gosh. I know that Harry Styles actually wears the actual Tom Ford Does he? one. So I'm wondering. It's beautiful. Yeah. There's something in here that's, it's like a spice though. That's in like, it's not, not just tobacco. It is spicy like cinnamon or nutmeg or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but it is, it's spicy vanilla for mm -hmm. sure. Um, and that's, I want to say like around 30 or 35, depending on how many bottles you buy. This is Lalique's Le Parfum. Le Parfum. And this is, I think, a really out-of-the-box vanilla in that it's a green vanilla and it's got bay leaf and some things in it. So it's really aromatic. Ooh, I, I think leaf. this thing is off. This is, and look at this bottle, you guys. Look at this bottle. I mean, Lalique's going to make a nice mm, bottle. It's got... Minecraft. Oh, it's so cool. Minecraft. This is like $25 or $30. Oh. It's phenomenal. Lalique makes such good perfumes. Pearl's de Lalique is amazing, too. Um... You know, I don't get a ton of vanilla in this. You don't? Mm-mm. I mean, it's... It's more aromatic to you yeah. or what? Okay, do you like it? I'm just curious. I like it, but I wonder if it would, you like, You wouldn't call warm... this vanilla perfume. Right. I yeah. wonder if it would warm on the skin, though, and yeah. smell more vanilla yeah. over time. Because I'm mostly just getting, like, like the bay leaf. The bay? The... Yeah. Okay. Which I like, but... I think it's such a great quality. Like, this is such a gorgeous gift. And now I'm going to go into two super-duper cheapies. Um, all right, so listen... If it smells good, it smells good. Um, my One of my favorite vanillas by Bath & Body Works is, uh, this was released the last, I think, couple years at the holidays. It's called Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle. I hope, hope, hope they make it again this year. I'm not sure if it's on the books or not. Um, and it really does smell like a snickerdoodle cookie. 
and it's one that I catch it on myself later in the day. It's strong for there. Like usually a body mist can only last minutes or an hour. This also like has it. buttered popcorn in it. Oh my God. I get that. Do you get the buttered popcorn? Yeah, I do. I love that. And you nailed it. And that's why like, I like a popcorn note. It's weird, but this, they will sometimes, they, they're at around 16 or $17. These will go on sale sometimes for as low as four or five, $6. And if you wear this in the cream, it will last five, six hours and it's awesome. So like really great, especially budget or not. Uh, but especially if you're watching your pennies. Um, and then this one is a little less complex where this is spicy. Mm -hmm. This is just called vanilla confetti sparkle. Um, so this is a little too basic for some people, frankly, just smells like vanilla cake, but I really, really like it. Yeah. Mm. This, you get a lot of the icing. This is more vanilla icing. Yeah. Than the other it's one. It's vanilla cake with icing for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's called vanilla confetti sparkle. It's supposed to be like a cake pop. So mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. Um, this is the only other one. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you want me to go ahead. This is a gift from this broad. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is, I read about this for years and years and years, 1862 Eau de Mission Cologne. I don't know. How do you say, is it Eau Cabant de, I'm not sure how to say this company. Um, but this was, I know the rage when I was first on YouTube and people were just like, oh my gosh. And I, I think it must be in the different circles or something, because I had literally never heard anybody talk about it. Well, and then I, they used to sell that at Ulta when I bought it and then Ulta stopped selling the brand. And I was actually more into their hand cream and their foot cream and all that stuff. This was a big deal when I first started, I shouldn't say before YouTube, when I first started collecting perfume. So like 10, 15 years ago, oh, I feel okay. like people were like blowing this up. Mm -hmm. And then it was originally affordable. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks originally. And then it started going up into the hundreds online because mm -hmm. people couldn't get it. Why am I making you smell it? You know what it smells like. To me, this is a nice, beautiful, not too sweet, not too earthy, right in the middle, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the perfume was originally meant as a bedtime scent. Like oh, a, is that true? It's a comforting bedtime scent. It's yeah. It is so beautiful. Because when I it. bought it, that's what it was kind of marketed towards was like um, with their like creams. Like calming and stuff? And stuff? Yeah. Oh, gosh, how nice. Do they make the creams and stuff still? I think they do, but I think that Ulta stopped selling them. They might be sold somewhere else because Ulta okay. used to carry the brand and then they stopped all together. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I was all about, they had like a gardener's. Hand and oh, a hiker's wow. and like a hiker's foot cream. Oh, how cool! Okay. And my feet are like gross, so I was <laughs> I was all about that foot cream. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this one because I think it's kind of along the same lines as like the bedtime perfume for the last one we just talked about. Somebody just sent me a sample and I freaking love it. And yeah, this is the Cora's Black Sugar. I think it's so good for the price. Too. And this is one when I. I did a video talking about perfumes that I wear to bed, which I'll have linked. Actually, it's cool. opposite here, up here, I guess. <laughs> I It's split. Anyway, I'll have that linked. But, yeah, it's a nice, slightly, I would say slightly powdery. It is. Sugar smell. And normally I don't go for powdery, but I think in like in bed and stuff, it's just so warm and comforting. I am. I regret too. I saw these at TJ Maxx a few times for like twenty bucks. And oh, really? Them up. I think they're only forty retail, which is still a really nice price. But man, I think that's so good quality. And you can see price. like how much like oh. my perfumes usually don't have much of a dent. It is in powdery, them. but it is powdery for you for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's really I nice. I think this though. is probably the most powdery scent that I own. That is comforting. But I still got a lot of use out of it. Do you get at the tail end a tiny bit of cigarette smoke or is it me? Maybe that's the black or the vanilla. Oh, uh, maybe. Um, but no, I normally do. I got a lot of like powder. It's like a hug from your grandma. You know what? This is a TV. And it's. I know that it's called Choco Musk. Have you tried oh, this? Oh, I, I don't know that I have. Wait, have I? Shoot, I can't remember. I feel like somebody might have just sent it to me. So this Sorry, is the All Rehab. Right. And they, they're so cheap. They're like $3. People were comparing this to, what was the, is the Montal or Mancera that people oh, were comparing okay. it to? To me, this Chocolate smells, greedy. to me, this smells like it's Cocoa terrible. Puffs. Yeah. It's, it's sweet. It's got the cocoa. And you know, I don't really like chocolate, but so many people like this. It makes me think maybe. And you can get this on Amazon with a lot of their perfumes around 3 to $4. Yeah. It is Cocoa Puffs. Totally. Wow. It's, it's nice though. For some reason yeah. where I don't like a lot of chocolate scents. And I think it's the vanilla. It is as much vanilla as it is chocolate. Yeah. That's why. It's a nice, creamy, soft chocolate. Mm, it's, that's wonderful. Yeah. That is such a bargain. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, so well, those of us collect, I know, want to try a lot of things. 
if I, you know, and there were times I barely had $2 to spend on anything, you will smell fabulous in that. Yeah. That's, I'm like, that that's a good is one. an awesome, you'd be walking mm -hmm. around smelling amazing. Yeah. And I'm that's not incredible. a chocolate person, but I think that mm. smells so good. It does. And you're right. It's as much vanilla as chocolate, which honestly, when you bake chocolate, I think the best chocolate desserts are ones that have vanilla or coffee in them because it enhances the vanilla actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Or vice versa, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So, so good. That is so nice. I can't believe it's that cheap. It's just crazy. So, like, another oil. Oh, oh. I love this one. I should have pulled this. This is, it was, this was in my favorite vanillas video. I think it's oh, awesome. It? It's... I think it's as much caramel as it is vanilla. Oh, I was, yeah. So, it's called Vanilla Musk. And who's this by? Nimat? It's Nimat. I, I hope okay. it's pronounced Nimat. So, this, um, so, do you know about this family? No. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not confusing families. I really, really want to go to India. Um, this family makes all their perfumes in kind of the traditional way, and their name is Atarwala, mm -hmm. and it literally means, like, I think, maker of atars. Oh. So atar, you know, like perfume. But anyways, they make fabulous oils for, like, their $10 to $20 tops, yeah. and this one is the Vanilla Musk. And it smells so nice. The only problem I smell. have with it is, and I maybe should have gotten it in the mm. roller ball, but this cap has plastic in it and then on to the glass here to where the cap disintegrates from the oh. oil and do you see how oh it's like gosh, coming it off is. i see that and i wish that the cap was maybe made of something else because the plastic is literally even in the lid and that's oh getting... I, I don't know if mine's that's crazy yeah i do i i think they do sell it in other formats they have it in a but these bowl. are the ones that are way more like this is at fresh time for instance where mm -hmm. the other ones aren't but yeah this is fabulous and worth seeking out. And I know other perfume heads that really love, like, mm -hmm. it's so good. It, it smells really nice. This is, and I know everybody's different. Some people really prefer oils. Oils don't tend to perfume to prefer, perform well on my skin. This one does though. It warms up and it just smells mm -hmm. amazing. And it smells great. When I had super long hair, I'd put it in my hair and it's like, Ooh. oh, so good. This is from the house. Have you ever tried uh, from the oil perfumery? Um, which one? Oil perfumery. Oh, sorry, no. Um, which scent though? Oh, I oh. tried. You actually turned me on to oil perfumery. Oh, okay. And who was I just? Another perfume head. We were talking about how they make their own nice things, but they're one of the best inspired by it. Like, they mm -hmm. do such a good job of duping scents. Yeah, I think that they are just as close, if not closer, to the actual scent than mm -hmm. Dossier. Yeah, yeah. And the cool thing about it is if it's an oil form, a lot of people don't do regular perfumes because right. they have alcohol content. content. Yeah, totally. And I think this is great. But this particular one is the um, Guerlain Spiritualiste Double Oh, Dating. that's exciting. I'm not always into, like, the people who do perfumes, but... When your perfumes, Guerlain, used to be my favorite house. Have you have smelled become the so from Guerlain this? Yes. When they've become so expensive that I can't afford them anymore, I'm like, sorry then, I'm gonna... It's so, like, it's, to me, this it's... is amazing. It's a boozy And again, vanilla. if I had $20 to spend, I'm mm -hmm. like, that is freaking amazing. Yeah. Everyone's smelling amazing. And there's, uh, their perfume oils, I know that they have just oh, is so nice. But they range oh, anywhere so, from, like... Yeah. 13 to 21 dollars yeah. depending on the oil um good sales but this one to me is uh boozy and it mm. a slight powderiness to it which it's so rich always... and layered mm -hmm. like it is not a t an average yeah and i love an average or not this is so layered it's like a mm -hmm. it's like composed music it's beautiful that's so good they did such a good job oh my gosh well done oil perfuming for real and no they did not sponsor us Oh, here's another cheapy. Hey. Um, this is the... Is that the macadamia? No, the other one. Yeah, I got... This is the 71, which is their caramelized vanilla macadamia. Oh, it is the macadamia. Yeah, vanilla. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Yeah, like, this is 71. It's the Brazilian Crush 71. I just watched Shana J. Do you ever watch her? She's so good. She does. She focuses a lot on cheapies. She tends to be into kind of like clean and aquatic scents, and I, I really love, I think she's fabulous. But she just did a like cheapies video. And just, the last minute, she like kind of threw this in, and she was like, I just bought this today, and I'm throwing it in already. It's that good. And I'm like, this is delicious. Like, I knew you would like it because, again, it has that buttered popcorn. I bought it. Oh, did you? Okay. So yeah, I like, I, I meant to, I need to leave a comment, but 
down and be like, I know why you threw this in because I literally, I went in, I, I hate to say a lot of things in Ulta I think are overpriced and are not Ulta Sephora. Mm -hmm. I went in there and smelled this and I was like, okay, I bought it that second. It was like, oh my gosh. Well, currently on their it actual, smells like macadamia nut for real. On their actual website right now, they have a four pack of these other four different oh, scents right, to try. Right, for good price. For like $25. Yeah, I, I saw your friend Emily uh, recommended that for mm -hmm. A holiday a gift because they said it was such a good price yeah that is delicious and it actually has lasting power when i wear it mm -hmm. mm, that's so good oh my gosh it's so good i think it's hard to do macadamia nut well and that mm, you just smell delicious man that's good oh and by the way i know i'm supposed to use these like this yeah, yeah, I know. But I just, I got in the habit and then I don't, it's weird. So well, people are probably like, oh, this ignorant Yeah, I know. I think that you're supposed to smell the smaller end so that you can get some of the like, air around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I want it all in my nose. <laughs> so everybody was talking about this when it first came out. And then I got it. Maybe after what smelling this? it. With the, so this is the Billie Eilish. I guess just Billie Eilish. She's coming out with a new one though too. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, that actually seemed more interesting than this to me. The bottle's awkward. I don't like any of that. I hate it so much, and I hate a bottle that feels bad in the hand or is hard to spray. And I wanted to hate it, and then I smelled it, and I was like, it's a really great vanilla. I mean, it's not, again, it's not like composed like the Guerlain or the, but I'm like, it is a darn good vanilla. Yeah, it's, it's, if you're looking for a vanilla perfume, this is vanilla. Mm. But after smelling the others, I mean, it's wild because I don't know if you said this beginning. It's you don't think you think how different can vanilla perfume smell when you smell these right next to each other. They're all different. It's wild how different they are. Mm -hmm. This one is so different than that actually smells really amazing. Yeah. Like, I can't believe it, honestly. Yeah, it's it's really not that nice. she, it's not. Here's why I'm saying I actually think she's great and she seems like quite an individual. So none of that surprises me. I just hate that ugly bottle. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it smells it, and terrific. It's awkward to hold. It smells and terrific. You don't know if like you should like, like where do you hold it the back and point the boobies, right? Or, or like how turn do you it this way. It? Or... I'm not sure. Wow, I know it's, it's awkward, down. terribly awkward. Yeah, so I don't terribly know. Terribly awkward. I think though. But great job in the perfume. I wonder who made that. I'm gonna actually. I should have looked it up. I don't think they ever put the nose. Yeah, on I want to say it's. Gosh, is it a famous perfumer? Anyways. We'll find out. This oh. is the Target Mix Bar. Have you tried this one? Not is that the almond one? It's the vanilla bourbon. No, I don't think so. People are crazy about that and the almond. I'm really interested in trying the almond one too. You're like, we got the vanilla bourbon. So we got that. Do you like it? Vanilla. I do like it. It doesn't last very long. Yeah, it's really meek. Uh, but it's just kind of like a... Uh, that's body spray call. I, it's yeah. not bad, but I'm like, I'm not going to pay 20 bucks when I can... This lasts on me this maybe for, about an hour. Yeah. And then it's gone. I get why people like it, though, to layer and stuff, but I'm not going to... Anyway. A few 20s add up to a really expensive bottle of perfume. So this is the uh, Serge Luton? Serge Luton? Luton. Um, I think it's Luton. Okay. Um, um, Un Bois Vigny. Okay. I always look at him like, am I saying it right? Uh, and here's what's sad. I, I've only been taking French for a little bit, so I'm probably saying yes or no, and I don't know. But, yeah. Um, you got to say what you think first. So this is slightly powdery. It's not an over, like, strong vanilla. Slightly woody, powdery vanilla. And I think it's light. What do you think? This is my ultimate vanilla. Is it? Because I grew up on Lolita Limpica, and I'm an absolute licorice, licorice lover. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you didn't say licorice. This is I vanilla didn't, and licorice. I didn't pull a whole lot from it. This is vanilla licorice. and licorice to me, and it's incredible. It is. <laughs> I can't <laughs> even. like incredible. The whole house. Their stuff is just. I know all these trends come and go, and I'm with mm -hmm. it, too. But, like, this to me is artistic perfumery at its. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that is like a good vanilla. <laughs> it's true. Ansley Cam. Mm, Giving it to okay. you real. <laughs> so here's incredible. one that I've incredible. never tried. And I just have a little oh. sample of it. But I figured this is a good time to try it. It's the Skylar. The are talking about the Skylar. Vanilla Sky. And it just oh, says it's rich, nice creamy, and warm. And the notes are cappuccino, Ooh. pure vanilla, and caramelized oh. cedar. Oh. And doesn't that sound delightful? Yes. 
Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks for your input. I love it. I was smelled out earlier today, and now I'm like, give it to me all. It that smells vanillas, you know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm let down. Tired. I, I don't think I, I don't think it's because you're tired because I smelled it and I'm sure I could just zoom in on my face after, but I smelled it and I didn't. This is so 2022, and it's so like. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna say things that are ignorant. This is so go. today. This is so. <laughs> and it's okay. We all like different things, and mm -hmm. Lord knows I like plenty of things people don't like, and I know I am plenty Literally. of things. It's a perfume but, of nothing to me. It's this it, is. This is like trying to make a vanilla clean, and I don't care why. I had such high hopes from the Me whole too. cappuccino. Me too. It doesn't smell like any of those things. No. That doesn't smell like a... This smells like cheap laundry detergent. Does it? Yeah. It, I does do not the laundry smell detergent like vanilla smell. at all. Why do we have to make everything clean? <laughs> Even the, the young one was like... <laughs> Absolutely not. That smells nothing like vanilla. What have they right? done? What have they done? What is that? This is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. Okay. So I literally, I people went, are crazy. Bananas over they, this. They, it was crazy. It was sold out. I went through everything to get it, and then I got it. <laughs> it wasn't you know, it's kind of funny. Can we just talk about? And I think so many perfume people will relate to this. We get obsessed, and then we're like, oh, we have to try them all. No, no, no. And sometimes, for me at least, I'm cheap. And so I will buy 10, 30, or 50, or eight, you know, $60 perfumes, trying to avoid a $300 perfume. And sometimes I just should have started with the $100 or $300 perfume. Right. Because I'm like, why? Anyways, it's just funny how, like, I, I do want to know your top five when we're done, for real. I literally had this vanilla fragrance, and I was like, I love it. I got to find more that I... Yeah. yeah, and you're like, why just, it's great, just love mm -hmm. it. Yeah. This is nice, but it's not, this is nice. It's totally, but here's what's funny to me. It's no nicer than that mm -mm. for 20 bucks and readily available. Yeah. The Kaoli Vanilla 28. Have you smelled any of the Kaolis? So this is, I actually was telling you I was really unimpressed with, what was it? Oh, some, I tried Indo Tijota. That was actually nice. This one, I was like, please tell me why everybody... People are like, everyone's talking about this one. Maybe I was in a bad mood. Maybe I'll love it when I smell it too. I feel like in this segment, we're just like, now <laughs> we're going to tell you about the vanilla perfumes that were disappointing. <laughs> I think it's good to be honest though. And, and here's the thing. We were saying earlier, I mean, this is just for interest. Everybody's different. We're not going to like everything. God dang it. I don't want anybody to lie to me. I literally can't even smell this. I wore this, a lovely person who, and I wanted to try it, sent this to me, which was so nice, a, um, a vial of it. I literally poured the vial on my arm because I was like, I think something's, I cannot smell it. Like I smell, van but it's like a faint vanilla. And I'm also wondering it's because- It's expensive too. I think Huda is who makes it. Huda, is it? Huda yeah, her Katan? people. Yeah, I don't know her last name, but And it is she Huda. is an she Indian is woman. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh my God. And I feel like they are, they do a lot of oils and things like that. And I'm wondering if this is kind of like an oil where- It'll warm up it maybe or develops change. and it warms up on the skin. But, Mine sat for a long time before I used it, it too, and it never did me. anything on me. I don't have anything on my arm. But you people are crazy about it. I mean, for real. And I'm, again, I'm sure that's for a reason. Um, but it just doesn't, I don't know. I don't get anything. No, right really? now I'm just getting the Which alcohol. is weird because, can I show it to the camera the color? Yeah, yeah. Look at the, you know, it, yeah. it's dark brown, almost coffee colored. It has to just be. You would think it would be dye. dye. I think it has to be dye huh. that was put in it, and it's, it's so not wild. really that rich of a so fragrance. So wild. I want to do. I do though, just because people are so bad up over them. I do want to try some okay, other scents to see if it's I like a little more. Because like a lot of people like. That. I mean, it's 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 a barely there. If you were looking again to have something, I'm like, sick. if I want barely there, how about <laughs> five dollars on sale? Can you smell this? Because I can. I mean, it's to be fair. It, it smells like up. nice skin, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. Do I go? Oh, nice I must skin. have that. Mm -hmm. No, especially not. Oh, hi, Cody. Hi, there are cats everywhere. Who's kitty cat? Kitty cat. Oh, murp. So, okay. So, hold on. So I, I think, have a cat that murps instead of meows. So, now I have, like, some lighter vanillas, and then we will go into the ones that I think are more, like, fall, winter. Wow. And then I think we'll, we'll be good. This All is right. so fun. All right. So, I have this, which is the Diptyque <gasps> Odule. Do you have Odule? this one? 
I don't, and I okay. m and I should. Uh, maybe when when I go to Paris next, I'll get because I I think it's well. Never mind. I like Diptyque. Period. Even if I don't like other, I just love what I think they're so good. This one's so pleasant and light. It's not. Uh, this is one I've smelled it on men. I've smelled it on women, and I'm just like, you smell so good. Mm -hmm. This is to me a perfect middle of the road, easy. And I don't mean not good, mm -hmm. but there's just nothing. If this is so lovely. Yeah, I think anybody would like that one. Oh, it smells so nice. It's a little aromatic. Gosh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm. She's a and I boy. love on the back of their bottles are these like beautiful illustrations. Anyways, just love to pick. Not cheap stuff, but I think worth investment when you have it. It's nice. So then we also have the Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidy Vanille. People are crazy about this. Ooh. What? The scent's trying to be more. Is it coming out? Oh, for real? Is it warming up on you? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, Vanilla 28? Is it? Or is it good? Oh. Yeah, it smells good. Right, should we eat our words? I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's the experience people have. I mean, here's mm -hmm. an example. I'm trying to think. There's a couple perfumes that are absolutely like, oh, um, Molecule and no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That you almost don't smell them on yourself at all, but other people will think, you, like, you smell bomb with that, actually. Yeah. I really so maybe, up. So yeah. maybe I'm a jerk and I should stop Well, I said the same thing because I'd only ever smelled it in this thing. And I was like, no, it's nothing because I would spray it. Mm -hmm. And I think that it has it, to maybe be it on just, the body. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So That's never mind everything range. we said. Never mind. Okay. We'll just edit that out. So we, we don't say, like we don't oh my God, it was brilliant. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so this is the Van Cleef. I already said that, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We're so not... it's the Orchid Even E. I like the little dangle. Hi, Paris. Oh, I don't know how I feel about the dangle because you know, like the Juicy Couture ones always had like dangly and stuff on them. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Nobody's. It's it's okay. There's nothing bad about it. Is it worth the hype? No. Oh, oh my Jesus god! I just released. forgot I was on camera. Now I sound really bitter. To me, I found it to be uh, floral, slightly powdery, light yes. vanilla, not very much uh -huh. vanilla. It's more floral. I feel like yeah. Yeah. It's funny that everybody thinks. Of, oh, I shouldn't say thinks. No, it, for them it's vanilla, but. Ooh. It reminds me a little of, um, there's an Il Isabel Toledo perfume, R.I.P. God, she's beautiful. Um, I think it's called Moon Orchid that reminds me of this a little. It's nice. <laughs> Mish. And it's like, now what's going on now? I'm living under here now. I don't smell anything. The cats. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I don't know. It's very, very light. Okay, so are then. We, are we. Are we vanilla out and hard to impress at this point? Is this what's happening? No, I, I can smell this one. And this is a light one. Which one is this? So this is the Vanille Apricot. Oh, right. And this was, this is another one. When I was first, like 15 years ago, people mm -hmm. were bananas over this. So many famous people wear this. I, I did a bunch of research on famous people and what perfumes they wear. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe how many famous people wear this. This to me... It's, I like their banana. I like the apricot. I like the sweetness from that. Mm, it's beautiful. It's, but it's, to me, this is, um. It's a spring, summer, like. Candy. Mm -hmm. This is, um, super, I think it's real femme, but it could be any, anything, mm -hmm. but it's, um, it's as much about the fruit. And I also think that it's not very complex. Mm, no, it's, but beautiful. It's yeah. like, it's great. The Vinny banana is the same. It's banana. And She's banana. flirty. This is also one that I would suggest if you're trying to buy a little bit of a nicer perfume for a young yes, person. Yes, absolutely. This is definitely one. Yeah, it's gorgeous though. It's great. I've wanted to try some of their others too. Oh, I love this the, brand. I yeah. don't own anything by them, but Bourgeois. the two I've smelled this are is wonderful. The, is that Venera Morea? Vanilla, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Uh, I don't know. Vanilla Maria, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think their bottles are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like uh, usually like something painted on the back. Mm, and so then pretty. you can see it through pretty. the front glass. It is pretty. And this has tea. It's like got a tea scent. Ooh. And it's vanilla and tea. You want to give it a whiff? Look at those eyeballs. Isn't it so nice? You don't like it? Oh, I'm crazy. Like, I, I, oh. I don't even understand how good this is. And that it smells like nothing I own. Mm -hmm. It's as much about tea even more than vanilla, I feel like. So a lot of the time... Like, oh, that the, is... Like, that smells like Eastern tea with lemon and maybe a dessert sitting next to it. Gosh, dang it, that's good. A lot of the times good. they don't put 
tea yeah. and vanilla together. I do have another one at home, and I forgot the Guerlain Tea Zero. Yes, and it's great. I should have put that in the vanilla. Yeah, but it's great. Tea that zero. one I'm not crazy about. Oh, you're not. It, this smells this more tea. This smells mm -hmm. like more like a um, uh, what kind of tea would that be? Um, oh God, I don't know. It's so good. How much is that aroundish? Is that 100, 150, something like that? I, would, I wouldn't say much over 100 if it's over 100. I that think, is, to me, worth that money, and I'm so cheap. I think you can get it from, like, Fragrance Net for maybe even cheaper. Oh, that's so good. Um, because they used to sell them at Sephora, and then they stopped selling the brand at Sephora. Oh. And then I'm wondering okay. if they're also leaving the U.S. Oh, so, yeah. You wonder. So one we talked about in your video, so we can just touch on it quickly, and it's the oh, yeah. Mountain Vanilla, and I think mm, it smells it's to sense. like the snow with uh, vanilla mixed in it, mm. if any of you ever made that kind of ice cream mm. growing up after you got some snow. Mm. Put a tiny little branch of something green in there. Because to me, the vanilla in this is like actual cooking, like baking vanilla. Um, but you have to like the green. Bread. You can't. Yeah, yeah. If you just want a sweet gourmand vanilla, this ain't it. No. But if you like things like Aura and like some things with green, I mm -hmm. think you're going to love that. It's so good. So good. And then this is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. It's so nice. You okay over there? Okay. <laughs> okay, which have we used this one yet? I don't think so. Yeah, we have. That's oh, got shoot, the tea sorry. on it. That tea is mm -hmm. ridiculous. Okay, I feel like you had a My better My friend Linda method. sent me this and it's so beautiful. So I am one of those people who do not like philosophy scents normally. Okay. Why is it, are the other ones too clean? They're very clean and I, I think they're lovable to, though. But. And I think that they smell like Chuggy Mom. What mom? Chuggy. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you call me? <laughs> You're not a Chuggy Mom. What's a Chuggy? It's so chuggy is like when they are just kind of trying too hard, like you know, like they're. Is that a brand of boot? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so Here you go. Um, it's just kind of like the. But you don't think that of this, do you? It smells okay. It's the least chuggy, probably scent from them. But I love Still. this. I think this is just comfort. Like this mm -hmm. is to me, I smelled this, I sprayed this in Alta one day, honestly not even wanting to like it. And all day I was like, I'm obsessed with the way I smell. And then I mentioned a video and my lovely friend sent me a bottle of it. I mm -hmm. love it. This is a wonderful comfort scent, but you, I don't know what chuggy means, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then the rest of these are like my fall winter vanillas. Um, two of them are from Commodity. Oh, I'm so excited. And I love Commodity. One, I wouldn't necessarily say is a vanilla vanilla. It's vanilla, but it to me, it's more marshmallow than vanilla. Oh. And that's... Is that cool? Milk no. Plus. Oh, okay. And so the way that they work is they have the minus, the regular, and then the plus. The regular is kind of the strength of their original fragrances. And then they've taken those original fragrances, although this wasn't one of the originals, but then they call it like their scent space. And then so they have the minus, which means maybe it's dialed back a little bit. It's not as heavy. They might mix mm -hmm. it with tea or something lighter mm -hmm. to kind of give it a more light feel. And then the plus awesome. scents are the deeper ones. They'll add, you know, like maybe some more wood in it, maybe mm -hmm. some smoky like bourbon leather, something, yeah. something heavier to kind of give it some depth. And I seem to always gravitate towards the plus <laughs> Out of all of That's them. what I was thinking when I first read about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to like all the pluses for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not what I thought it would be. So it's it's like a campfire, marshmallow, yeah, it's smokier than vanilla, woody situation. I'm blown away by how different these all are. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe it, actually. The vanilla couldn't be this many things. Mm -hmm. So not vanilla. Um, that is wonderful. And then I want you to compare it. So then we'll that's get, a perfect smoke. It's not too smoky. We'll get back to the oh. the last one, which is the this gold. It's another house I just love. I mean, it's funny how you learn that there are certain houses you like. 
there are not many replicas I don't like. I've only mm -hmm. tried one or two. Honestly, most of them I'm like, yep, like it. It's and then jam. try to see how you think By the Fireplace compares to Milk Plus because they they still have the same idea of the marshmallow and the I, love, I already know I smoke. love this. But like smelling I don't love side Jazz side. Club. I like Jazz Club and other people, but I don't like it on me. This is less marshmallowy, less sweet. So it's great though. It's funny how some people who just don't like smoke are like, what, why? And I'm like, oh no, I was yearning for that. Like, mm -hmm. I think this is perfect smoke for me. Like it's so campfire -y, but you're right. If you're that, looking for a the sweeter one that you just version, got, yeah. that is amazing. That is the marshmallow of that. It really is. If it's you're like looking, add more s'more. Yeah. If you want a sweet version, like this is a little too smoky, not as sweet. Get this instead. I'm usually not a huge layer of perfumes, but do you layer this? I bet that would be By layered. the fireplace? Yeah. Typically, no. God, it's so good, though. Oh, that's so good. Okay, and then... Wow. You've the, got a lot. The last one is Commodity Gold Plus. I've been wanting to try gold. I've never tried it. In which this was from their original line. They had the regular gold. Um, and then they, obviously, when they came back, they, with the scent space. <laughs> this room tonight... You're going to just, it's all vanilla too, which is such a comforting on your bed. <laughs> right next to my bed. Okay. I don't know that I'd even call that a vanilla perfume. Yeah, that's the main thing. So their original gold. Although I get it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's great. I, I think honestly, my just, nose is confused at this one. I think after sm smelling all the other vanillas, that this one seems less vanilla more woody because this is the deeper version so the original gold i would it's, say is sweeter more vanilla -y. it's really nice though mm -hmm. it's great i mean i would love that on me or somebody um you this, know what i think would be a neat experiment is if we we did <laughs> but if we would have written the names on the back and then at the end literally just picked up and said which one do you like the most because mm -hmm. it is wild how diverse these all are yeah i still feel like i kind of know so i'm gonna pick my top yeah five. i want to hear your top five for real yeah and then i'm you can so choose your top five. i'm so Curious. So my top five are Atelier. Oh, it's so good. Which is so crazy because that was perfect. Like, yeah, it's perfect. Um, for me. And then to me, the Bourjois, breathtaking. The I wouldn't new, even call that vanilla, but yeah. I freaking love that thing. You don't think this is a vanilla? It's just way it's more about the tea to me, but yeah. I, I think, anyways, it's freaking fantabulous. Mm hmm. And then I would say... And it smells like a million bucks to me. The oh, Odul. I think you just can't go wrong with this one. If you're just wanting something to spray, like any occasion, this smells it's nice. It's phenomenal. And honestly, that's a uh, vanilla you can wear in the summer. For mm -hmm. real. Oh, yeah. Because it's like a nice light. That's so yeah. good. And then what else we got? This here? is fascinating. Like looking... This one, because a bed, which surprises me because oh, it's powdery. so good. But I wear this to bed all the time. I find it so comforting. <sighs> So this is the but, the chorus black sugar. But this sugar. is an interesting diversity. It's like you're choosing ones mm -hmm. that are very different from each other, though, which I think is great. Part and of then, uh, so then the vanilla diorama, diorama. Oh, so good. Wow. And I also like, you have a real diversity in price there. You have everything from as cheap as 20 on sale or 40 retail to, yeah. what do you have, 200 for the... How do you, this is the Dior, the small bottle. This is a smaller bottle, which I think I got for like 130. Okay, so, so but that's somewhere in there. Not terrible. So it's like yeah. 40 to 130 there. Yeah. Everything in between. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. That's your top five. Wow. Okay, should I do top five quick? Yep. Um, wow. All right. Um, Un Bois mm -hmm. It's my bag. Yup, Le Bon. I got to pick cheapy because <laughs> I just have to. It's And this is freaking bonkers good. I don't think this is a vanilla scent for me on my skin, but I must have this. <laughs> oh, not this. Sorry, not Van Cleef. Sorry, I'm wrong. The tea one. Oh, over here. Over here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner, chicken. Th I cannot believe how good this is. Yeah, it's nice. crazy, awesome, different than anything I own. And <laughs> why am I acting like I own it here? <laughs> That's my four. And then, oh, it's hard because I really love the knee mat. And I think it's such a good, and I, I love the way the family works. I have to have a tie between the knee mat, mm -hmm. and I think I need to own vanilla -ry. Oh, really? I just, oh, it's heaven. Which shocks me that your bohemian. Oh, no. That's got to be in there. <laughs> no, that's got to be in there. That's number one. Oh, no. I can't leave desert floor out. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. It's just not, it was in front of me. Desert floor is number one. Sorry. Oh, so okay. let me start over. One. 
shoot two Luton's, uh, Luton, uh, blah, 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 uh, Boivigny. All right, I'm going to go strictly vanilla. Uh, Jupe Le Bon is many things. Uh, it doesn't have to be vanilla. Um, I'm going to go with the cheapie. Did I say that yeah, already? That's yeah. three. Uh -huh, it's hard. Um, oh, and then did I give one back? No. Um, I want this. I can't live without this. So I just need to put it in my list to the T1 for. Oh, do I do it because I love it or because it gives me compliments? Let's see how I love narcissistic it. you are. Like <laughs> like That's so stupid. Everybody thinks I'm amazing when I wear it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why am I so torn? What if I chose one that we both really hated? Would that make you laugh? Um, I think, okay, sorry. One, Desert Floor. Two, Loot and Zoom Blavini. Three, Cheapity Cheap, Super Good, Joy, Snickers Noodle, Doodle, blah, 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 blah. This T1, <laughs> look at your face. Four, and it's a tie between Yoop Le Bon and Nemat's Vanilla Musk. Okay, and then- But I'm, I'm telling you, I don't- there are not many in here I didn't love. So for funsies, I'm just going to essentially tell you. Yeah, like what are the ones what you want to part? I'm going to declutter. Okay, yeah. yeah. Because this one, it's the mix bar that you can get at Target. It doesn't last. It's nothing special. Like this is going to be leaving. People love it though. Mm -hmm. People love it. So I'm just saying, I don't I don't want to yuck somebody's yum, but I don't get it the, for me, from my skin. The chai feasts or however you pronounce that. I think Again, so. it's not anything special it doesn't last long um and again, but people really like that too so like yeah. and the way i feel about it too with declare i'm like let somebody love it then you know yeah, what i yeah. mean it's if like they like it that's fine but if i i have so many wear it, why right i have so many i want something that's gonna last on me yeah um so then also I have to work which people olympia like. i've tried to declutter it once and it was brought back to me <laughs> that's pretty funny actually pretty funny <laughs> Um, so, like it's a really beautiful bottle. Take it. Leave. Don't yes, ever come back. Please. Yes. I'll just give it to the friend that I worked with who. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Who enjoys it so much anyway. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of these, I feel For like. For a minute, I thought you were just going <laughs> to oh, declutter. I was gonna be, I'm like, what? I feel like the rest of these. Uh-huh. Work in one way or another for you. Yeah. The only oh. one that I'm kind of on the fence with is this one. I feel like I just need to actually wear it to see. Maybe. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I'm not. Because I sprayed it. I forgot to just emphasize again, though, how good this darn Choco Musk is. This is the cheapest it's one ridiculous. here. Ridiculous! It's like three or four bucks. Yeah, the cheapest one here is this Choco Musk. It smells so good. Oh, gosh. Um, but really, but yeah, yeah, the only ones I think that I absolutely want to declutter are these three, which are so funny to me because all three get a lot of hype. Oh, tons! And but again, that's the thing is I don't dispute that those people are right or that it smells great on them. Thank God we're different. I mean, for real. And some things I love, people will be like, how can you like yeah. that? I mean, it's just, I almost just took this, so just take it, so I don't. <laughs> you convinced me. Oh my gosh, it. that's funny. So, I mean, uh, I'll leave my Mercari. This is below. the sickness. This is the problem. Okay, there's many wonderful reasons that I love being your friend. Yeah. Noticed you didn't pick one of mine. You're not going to buy any of mine. I want to buy like 10 of yours now. I'm like, great. Yeah. Well, Thanks. you know what? I wasn't Thanks even thinking that. about it. But you know, know what, though? <laughs> yeah. No. None of yours. I That's didn't okay. smell any no. of them. Think, oh, you've, narrow, you've narrowed it down, too. Like, I feel like you really mm -hmm. know better who you are. I'm a little all over the map still, I think. Yeah. There were like, well, <clears throat> one of yours, though, was one I already decluttered. So. Well, I was going to say, and to be fair, <laughs> some, I, anyways, we like a lot of the ones together that you own. So yeah, yeah. There's that. Okay. Oh, well, my anyway. gosh. How fun. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> which vanillas do you like most? Which do you have that you have not, that we have not talked about? Right. And which ones do you want to argue about that we don't like that you think are we're right. crazy? Tell us we're trash. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us we're wrong. Tell us. All right. Well, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go.